It was an unusually hot Texas summer. And kids were unusually bored. Frustrated parents everywhere were in need of help. If only there were someone who could save us from this Texas heat and summer boredom. This sounds like a job for the Dallas Park and Recreation Department. Across the city of Dallas. Oh man, we're so excited. Excitement sure is building as Dallas Parks and Recreation staffers prepare to open city pools for the summer season. Raul Robles is the city's aquatics manager. Says it has enough staff on board, so no restrictions are expected, and the team's still looking to hire lifeguards, even offering financial incentives and training for those who want to work pools this season. Look, I always love it when I can say that our city is a national leader in something. Cities of all sizes across this country had to close or never opened in the first place their aquatics facilities this summer. But that was not true in the city of Dallas. You made this a great summer for the people of the ninth largest city in the United States. Today, August 12, 2022, will be Dallas Aquatics Day throughout the city of Dallas. So today is your day. Dallas Aquatics saved over 229,000 visitors from the extreme Texas heat. They enrolled 4,573 individuals in swim lessons, and they had 409 on swim team. They received over $36,000 in donations and were able to award over 300 scholarships for swim lessons and swim team. They hired 366 seasonal staff and certified over 200 lifeguards, WSIs, and lifeguard instructors. Dallas Aquatics sold 2,311 season passes and generated over 1.29 million in revenue. The Dallas Park and Recreation Department didn't just save residents from the Texas heat, they also kept youth active and safe through a variety of programs and activities like the Teen All Access Pass. The Dallas Park and Recreation Department partnered with Amazon and 13 of Dallas's favorite attractions to offer free admission to City of Dallas teens during the month of July. July is National Park and Recreation Month, which is why Dallas Park and Recreation is offering free access to different parks and attractions for teens living in Dallas. Monica Tete is the program spokesperson. She joins us with more information on how teens can participate. It's so nice to chat with you. Nice to chat with you as well. This is such a great opportunity for teens. Will you tell me about the Teen All Access Pass? Yes, well, the City of Dallas Park and Recreation Department is excited because we've teamed up with Amazon, which is our sponsor, uh -huh. to sponsor this amazing program. We're giving away up to 10,000 Youth All Access Pass with over about 10 to 30 13 um, partners that we have and wow. we're excited for this because this is a great way and opportunity for teens to stay active this summer. Yes, we partners that give a good variety for teens to enjoy the summer and have a well-rounded experience. Before we go, will you tell me a little bit more about Bahama Beach? Because you've mentioned a couple times oh. and I'm like, I think I might want to go to this place, but I really don't know anything about oh it. Oh my God, you have to go. Bahama Beach is one of our treasures. Okay. We love it. It's basically... Let's not forget about Bahama Beach Water Park. They had a record-breaking attendance this year of 71,058 visitors. They sold 296 season passes, which was an 80% increase over previous years, and generated over $1 million in revenue. The Dallas Park and Recreation Department is also committed to enhancing the quality of lives for our active senior adults. The Senior Program Division offered summer camp for adults 60 and older. There were a total of 245 seniors that participated in this year's summer camp, and the average age for those campers was 72 years old. The Dallas Park and Recreation Youth Services Division hosted the Taft Region 13 State Qualifier Track Meet. This track meet had over 450 registered athletes from 18 area track clubs.
after the pandemic, many North Texas summer programs and camps are welcoming kids back, and that includes a free option for North Texas parents. As Aaron Jones will show you now, registration started today, and it's going to last until all the spots are filled. Madonna Janor with Dallas Parks and Rec is excited to bring back Send a Kid to Camp with brand new offerings. We're going to have Monday through Thursday, we're going to have enrichment vendors, they're going to do STEM, STEAM, different science projects, theater arts, dance clubs, um, we even have a DJ coming in, sports programs and fitness programs as well. Late Nights is starting this coming Friday for 13 to 17 year olds from 7 to 11 p.m. and more than a dozen Dallas Rec Centers are involved here. They're going to offer gaming and sports and music and more. And of course, it is all free. In addition to the traditional summer camps, the Dallas Park and Recreation Department offered outdoor adventure camp at Samuel Farm for youth ages 7 to 15 and a counselor and training program for teens ages 16 and 17. There were 107 outdoor adventure campers that learned how to kayak, ride mountain bikes, fishing, geocaching, nature photography, and archery, and a new love for the great outdoors. The Dallas Park and Recreation Department offered summer camp at 55 locations across Dallas, rescuing over 2,600 youth from extreme summer boredom. Youth enrolled in the Dallas Park and Recreation camps enjoyed activities such as field trips, educational enrichment programs, learning new sports, playing games, and more. The Dallas Park and Recreation Department awarded 164 summer camp scholarships, giving those families up to nine weeks of free summer camp. As you can see, the men and women of the Dallas Park and Recreation Department are truly the superheroes of summer.